This week we're going to review the USDA monthly supply demand report from last week. We're also going to take a look at the updated crop condition trends as well as short-term weather forecasts and then also review the export trends for soybeans and soybean meal. Hi, this is Brian Bastine with Advanced Trading. Let's talk about the soybean market. We moved into the middle of June and once again this market has turned volatile. Only this time it's turned volatile to the downside. Let's start out this week taking a look at last week's USDA monthly supply demand report. Now as usual here we've got quite a few numbers. We're going to focus in and highlight the carryout estimates for, for soybeans. Uh, for new crop 21-22 was 155 million bushels. Notice that was above the average trade guess of 145, or 143, excuse me. And then looking at old crop 2021, the carryout was 135. And once again, that was above the average trade guess of 122. So in both cases, uh, the carryout projections from the USDA exceeded the trade estimates. Looking now at the Brazilian soybean crop, that's a record Brazilian soybean crop of 137 million tons. It also was above the average estimates of 136.1. We'll show you in a bit how that's impacting export sales. Let's move on and highlight crop condition ratings for the U.S. Our map, as usual, here highlights circles. Uh, in the red, implied deterioration in good to excellent ratings compared to the previous week. Green implies improvement in good to excellent ratings. And the yellow circles imply no change. Notice throughout the majority of the Corn Belt here, we saw deterioration in good to excellent. Uh, we did see some stabilization across South Dakota uh, as well as Ohio. Uh, but overall, we saw deterioration nationwide down to 62% good to excellent compared to 67% last week. Let's look at some history now of that good uh, of that uh, index. We're looking at um, the index deteriorating here, actually to one of the lowest levels in recent memory here at 3.6, uh, a little over 3.6. Here's the key message, however. A bean crop is not made in mid-June, as you all know. Look at that volatility in that index from mid-June all the way into uh, early harvest, both to the upside and to the downside. This is where you want to continue to work closely with your trusted risk management advisor as conditions and prices change. One of the factors, of course, that's going to impact that crop condition index is the weather. Let's take a look at short-term weather trends. Our slides this week, as usual, are courtesy of T-Storm Weather. We're going to start out here looking at Thursday through Saturday of this week. Notice a pocket of rain across some dry areas in parts of southern Wisconsin as well as southwest Michigan. That rain would be welcome in those areas. Moving forward now to Saturday through Monday, a possibility of some decent rainfall across Iowa and Minnesota. Those are states where we saw some significant deterioration in those crop ratings in the latest week. Let's move on now to June 22nd through the 25th. Again, a possibility of some additional rainfall across the heart of the Midwest. So again, we don't make a bean crop in June, but we certainly would welcome the rain across some of those drier areas. Let's move on now and focus on export trends for soybeans and soybean meal. We've looked at these slides before, but it bears repeating that Brazil, with that record crop that we highlighted a moment ago, is really the dominating force in the world soybean export market. The U.S. is looking at a six-year low here in terms of unshipped sales, with only about 25 million bushels left shipped to China. Moving on now to soybean meal, we're also seeing some strong competition in soybean meal from uh, places such as Argentina. Again, a eight-year low, a seven-year low, I beg your pardon there, in soybean meal sales. And here's the key message. In last week's supply demand report, we did see the USDA as a result of slowing domestic soybean meal offtake as well as sluggish soybean meal exports reduce its estimate of soybean crush here in the U.S. by 15 million bushels. So again, that's one reason, the primary reason why that uh, old crop carryout ticked up in the report last week. Let's wrap things up this week looking at trends in November soybean futures. Now we have seen that November contract back off here. It's now below $14 bushel. However, it's still at the highest level ever for this time of year in mid-June. So once again, strongly encourage you to work closely with your trusted risk management advisor to manage this price movement. Now if you'd like more information, please feel free to contact us at 800-664-2321. We'll put you in contact with one of our risk management consultants We'd be happy to visit with you at your convenience. And remember, we upload every Wednesday. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and never miss an upload. Thanks a lot. Have a good week.